Well, weekend plans. If you've made them block off your Saturday, it is Record Store Day, celebrated by independently owned brick and mortar record stores around the world, including right here in Madison. And joining me live to talk about what they have on tap for the big day is Rick Stoner, owner of Strictly Discs on Monroe. Rick, good morning. How are you doing? I'm good, Phoebe. How are you? Great. Okay, so this Saturday, you've got DJs, you've got free food, giveaways. Tell us a little bit about what's on tap for this yeah, Saturday. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. Uh, we work with the city of Madison to close down a portion of Harrison street this year so we're throwing a little block party uh, but beyond that we'll have our iconic line heading west on Monroe Street all the way to Edgewood College so really looking forward to giving people what they want um, some really interesting quirky reissues and some new releases cool okay so this is actually your first record store day as owner of Strictly Discs how are you feeling that's right uh, I acquired Strictly Discs November 1st it's been a whirlwind but I have nothing but gratitude and thanks for the founders the roll-offs um, my staff, and most importantly, our customers. It's been a great ride. Okay, but I want to draw back. You just mentioned that iconic line that draws so many people down the block of Monroe. Yeah. We've covered it so many times. What is that feeling? And I guess, what time should people start arriving? Yeah, we always tell people, uh, get there as early as you can. Uh, there are people that line up the night before coming in from out of no state. Way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. They're camping on the streets. Uh, but get there early. Uh, that line can stretch, you know, 10, 12 city blocks. So your question on what is it about that line, I think it's just line culture and record heads just really having yeah. a true passion for music. 100%. And I, I guess you touched on it a little bit, but some of those exclusive releases, can you tell us a little bit more? Can you disclose any of that? Absolutely. Uh, the, re the, the list has been out for a couple months. Um, there's some exclusive releases this year, particularly seven inch single LPs okay. from female pop folk, uh, pop country. So we have some really sought after releases from Sabrina Carpenter, um, from Chapel Roan, from Laney Wilson. These are releases and things that you can't get elsewhere on Spotify or, or anything like that. I was setting up my records a little bit earlier. Charlie walked over here and he was like, do people, do new artists still release vinyl records? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. There's been a true resurgence in new artists dropping new albums on the vinyl platform. Uh, truth be told, we really have Taylor Swift to thank for that. Yeah. Uh, she's almost single-handedly brought the medium back to pop music. And now you have offshoots of that. Uh, really, the talk this year is Noah Khan, whose mm, second okay. album is being released on vinyl for the first time. That's been our biggest wish list request, and we're going to have plenty of copies. Oh, I love it. Okay, any last reminders for people who are heading out on Saturday morning? No, like I said, uh, if there's a specific release you're looking for, the best chance to get it is to get there as early as you can. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, just be prepared to hang out with fellow record heads and, and have a great time. A block party on Monroe. I love it. Rick, thank you so much for your time thank this you. morning. Have fun this weekend. And again, we actually compiled a list of all of those uh, record stores within the Madison area that are going to be having deals for this record store day. You can go and check that out at WMTV15news.com.